Hi, Matt Crow here. Here I am in my carport with today's minimal effective dose program using eight of the major exercises that you're going to need to stay fit and strong. All you will need as far as equipment goes is one or two sets of dumbbells, a TRX suspension trainer or anything you can hang from the roof to do your back work, a mat and a bench. If you have those four pieces of, of equipment, that's all you'll need for this workout and many of the workouts that we will do. Exercise number one is the dumbbell bench press, the classic upper body weight exercise. On the bench with your feet either side, we're going to have the dumbbells bringing them down either side of the nipple line of the chest in a nice smooth constant motion. Not too fast, not too slow and no bounce down the bottom. Very important that you keep it smooth. 15 repetitions with a weight. That's the maximal weight you can do for 15 repetitions. It's very important that you do um, really focus on the overload principle. Exercise number two is a dumbbell step up. Keeping your posture very strong with the bench, stepping on with your heel, driving the knee up, holding the dumbbells by your side. Keep your head up, keep your posture nice and strong. So 10 each leg, so do 10 in a row on one leg, then 10 on the other leg. Very important to keep that weight on the heel so we are driving up and through using the glutes as much as possible. Once again, a nice constant rhythmic pace. So you have balance and control throughout the workout. 10 repetitions each side. Exercise number three is the suspension trainer row. Starting with your palms facing down, as you pull yourself in, you bring those elbows to the side, squeeze your shoulder blades together, really keeping good posture at all times, and most importantly, keeping that body very straight. As you can see here, my feet are flat on the ground, and the legs are straight, and all the weight is going to the upper body. Nice, smooth, once again, even pace without any jerky movements. Exercise number four is one of the best leg exercises on the planet, the one-legged squat or the Bulgarian split squat. With this weight, you've got one foot on the bench with resting with your laces. The other foot is out in front of you about one meter and you're dropping down as if you're going to kneel to the ground, keeping your posture up as strong as you possibly can and you're dropping into that front heel. All the weight must go into that heel so that your glute muscles, your bum muscles, are really doing the majority of the work. We don't want to get all the effort into the quads. Hands are hanging by the side. Posture is always upright. You're always looking forward, dropping down, keeping balance, and driving up again for 10 repetitions each side. Next one is the dumbbell shoulder press, 15 repetitions. This is primarily for the shoulder muscle group. And what we are doing here is having the dumbbells out at ear level. So your thumbs go down to ear level. The dumbbell would dissect your ears. Elbows will drop below the shoulder level, pushing all the way to the top, bringing them down in another smooth rhythmic motion, no bouncing. Always control at the bottom of the motion. 15 reps. Next one is the lunges. Right, similar to the one-legged squat in a free stance. We're stepping out, dropping our weight into our front heel, keeping our posture up whilst the hands hang limply by the side with the weights. And put that load into the front glute so that the heels really do drive you up and backwards so the glute muscles the bum muscles are doing most of the work keeping your balance making sure your knee is going straight over your front toe 10 repetitions each side
Number seven is the wide suspension row. So with this time, we've got our hands facing to, down towards the ground, but the elbows are going out. We're trying to get more lats and more rear delt, more rear shoulder into this workout. So really try and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your head neutral. Keep your body very straight. Your knees are straight. Your feet are flat. And I can see I'm pulling those handles wide apart as possible as I get to the top of the range. And the last exercise is the one-legged bum lift. A really pure glute exercise to make sure you are activating that glute max muscle group. Hands are behind the head. The front shin is vertical and we're driving up through the glute muscle while one leg is suspended in the air. That's it. So all the way through the glute, we're trying to take the hamstring out of the motion. So just your glutes, just your bum muscles really activating and pushing that up. You can do 10, 15 or even 20 repetitions each side on this one.